Yeah, definitely not a bot review because they told us to fucking turn the cameras off, so. This might be the most expensive Pine Forest episode. Oh, this smell is it's crazy. like hypnotizing. Oh my god. Michelin listed. Italian food, huh? Call me Tony today. Oh yeah, boys, I am excited for this one, man. Just as a little bit of context, a little bit of a different video today. If you don't know, probably my second favorite thing in this world, maybe my third, is food. If it's not glass, hash, or cars, it's, it's food's gotta be up there. I'd maybe even put food over cars. And for a couple years now, I've had this idea of having a food show where we get super baked, go around LA, go around the country, maybe even the world at a later point, and we just get super stoned and try some of the best food that that city has to offer. So we've been doing it for a few months now at Pine Park. We have several, several episodes, but this one was personally one of my favorites. Probably the best food that we've had so far. So I had to upload it to this channel if you guys want check out any of the other episodes of the munch that we have going on at pine park make sure to go subscribe to the channel and uh let me know what you think about this type of content and it's not going to be often i think every once every few months i'm going to upload a piece of this content to this channel just so just so you can appreciate it all right all right let's let's get some motherfucking food baby what is going on everybody and welcome back to another episode of my personal favorite series the munch where we go out and about in LA and maybe even other places and get real stoned and try really good food. And I'm talking about really good food today. We've been trying legendary places all throughout the series and we got another one. We're on the legendary Abbott Kinney Boulevard. We got beautiful weather, beautiful people, mm. and beautiful food, man. We're at Jelena today, which is a special restaurant because it's on the Michelin list. Now we'll talk a little bit more about the stars and the Michelin list and stuff later, but hey, I'm excited to get some really good food. It's like a legendary thing to be at a Michelin restaurant. Everyone talks about that. It's like Michelin food, Michelin rated, Michelin stars. Huge. Apparently it's the same thing as the tire company, right? The restaurant company and then the tire company, it's the same Michelin man, the big man. So we're trying out some Italian. I'm ready. I'm excited, bro. We're Please in Venice. Me. Let's Please do me. it. Come Let's on. do it. Come on. Back at it again. Yeah, we at it again. So Jelena started here on Abbott Kinney, 2008 I believe. They have two locations, one here, one in New York. But they have like a crazy little ecosystem almost. They have like a grocery store, a flower shop. You can live up there. There's like apartments up there that you can live in. It's kind of crazy. They got a lot of, it's the Jelena little the vibe, bro. That's what I'm saying. They got the whole block secured. They got drinks and they think they have Americanized slash Italian food, you know, like gentrified Italian, okay. but like in a good way. Braised pork meatball, oh my God, that literally just jumped off the menu. You see that, huh? They got a lot of braised stuff, they got a lot of minestrone, they got the homemade pastas, mm. the spaghetti, I see it, agnolati, okay, see it. See beef it. cheek bolognese. What? With ink spaghetti, so it's black. That's actually crazy. They got an extensive wine list. They got all the wines. That's like the, the That's mark meat. of a good Italian place, if you got good wine. Mm. And the charcuterie and the pizza? Wow. Dude, the pizza list is crazy too. Yeah. Cured chorizo, mm. chilies and red onions. I feel like we gotta get like... A little bit of everything. Yeah, we gotta get like one pizza and a couple plates maybe. We're gonna do a pizza. Up. Okay, valid, valid, I'm down. This might be the most expensive Pine Park uh, Munch episode. What are you? An idiot sandwich. This shit looking crazy. Oysters and raw, they got the raw at the top. You said oyster, you're, you're an oyster kind of guy or not? Because the texture is gonna, I'm gonna puke. So this place is a Michelin listed restaurant. It's not a Michelin rated. It's not a Michelin star. There's a big difference between the two. You said you were taking me on a date to a Michelin star restaurant. What I said Michelin here? restaurant. Michelin <laughs> rated. That's how you get away with it, man. If you want to just like, you know, impress the shorty a little bit, say, we're going to a Michelin restaurant, maybe you can take it away. It doesn't break the bank a little bit too crazy. It's very hard to get one of those stars, 100%. Okay. But then they realize, wait, these places are a little bit too exclusive almost. So now they've opened it up. There's a whole app for it. There's a whole guide for it in multiple cities. And now it's like reachable per se. You know, a lot Step of people under. can, yeah, 100%. A lot more people can go to these places rather than these three star, two star that are like exquisite. You get the tiny little bites and it's like $1,000. There's places like this that you want to experience that have great food, a great environment, locally sourced ingredients and everything. 25 bucks a plate. Exactly. It's a shout out to Michelin for that. Yeah. That's kind of cool though. I like that they added this, another tier. That's kind of like another tier system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wood roasted prawn, black garlic, fermented chili butter, grilled lemon. Grilled lemon. <laughs> like I might pass out reading that. We're doing braised pork meatball with tomato sauce, parmesan, and, and sourdough toast. Beef cheek bolognese mm. with whipped ricotta. Come mm. on now, a little bit of whip. And then okay. the pizza. Vegetables, suck it. 
Hello. Uh, let's go ahead and get it going. Can we do the, the beef cheek bolognese? And then we'll also do the braised pork meatball. The house made chorizo pizza. You know what, can I also get a ginger lemon soda? And can we do also the grilled beef and burrata prosciutto? Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Yeah, I like Thank you. What kind of salad is this, bro? Is it a salad? Or it's supposed to, is it a charcuterie thing? Yeah, it? come on, man. You got the peaches and you got a little bit of meat. You said peaches? It's a dressed peach, it looks like. It looks like it's charred. You got some meat and look at the cheese right here. Dude, That's this shit insane. definitely looks expensive. Would you buy this for $25? Bro, what are you a rabbit? That's how it's oh meant to be. God. So you get the sweet, the salty, cheesy. Damn, this is like this is a rich person bag. Right? <laughs> it is a rich person bag. The peach is the craziest combination in the world. It's like so salty from the prosciutto. Yeah. But then you the juices from the peach like explode and cover the saltiness. Oh my goodness. It happened, right? The peach like exploded. Whoa. It's like the most complex flavor I've ever had. Are you supposed to eat the grass stuff too? Mm. The grass stuff? It's called veggies, man. It's like fucking vegetables, bro. They eat them in other parts of the world. And no, shit. the grass stuff's not it. I guess rich people food is better. What the fuck, man? Damn, this what is like low-key hitting a fire score <laughs> right out the gate. Like, yeah. it's, a, it's like a fucked up score right out the gate. <laughs> it's that chow. The chow is crazy. The chow is crazy. What an appetizer. I didn't think I was going to like that. I'm not, I looked at it and I was like, that's horrible. Yeah, I don't know. Presentation, not zero. Taste, 10. <laughs> Dang. I've never had something that tasted like that pizza. Like, <laughs> never. <laughs> Crazy. What are you giving this at? Just, just this. Just that? Just like a 9.3. Something about the Venice vibe. What's going on with these vibes right now? This is crazy. I'm at like a 10 out of 10 vibe right now. Dude. The only thing I would take out of here is the leaf. Like, you don't want that leaf. Look at him try to get it off. No, Look he him. wants it. Look, he's biting it. He's uh, biting it. Oh, oh wait a minute. This looks balls. insane. That meatball. Wait a minute. Mm. This is the beef cheek right here. This beef stuff looks cheek. A little insane. bit of pepe, a little bit and of oil in there. Waste. Oh, it's steaming and everything. Jesus. Mm. Jesus. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Get up in that ricotta. Yeah. The smell is actually phenomenal. The there. smell is It's crazy. like hypnotizing. Can you try the meatball first? Let's try the meatball first. Okay. I'm down. That's valid. Look at that. Look at the texture. Yeah, get all the sauce in there. Steam coming off. Man. Really? Boop. Damn, you took a big bite. Dude. You said pork? Yeah, yeah. I think it's pork as well. Hi. Pork meatball has gone crazy. If you don't eat pork, you might need to make an exception. God damn, let's try the pasta. Have you tried the pasta in there yet? I have not had any pasta. Let's see what's good with the pasta. Oh, shit. Sure. Do you think it's homemade pasta? It might be. In house? It might be. It's like a nice al dente to it. Yeah. You know, it's not say it's al like dente. overcooked. Right. It's like got a little bounce back to it. Mm -hmm. Damn, I don't know what I like more, honestly. Yeah. The beef cheek or the, the meatball? The, the pork meatball. cheek is really good. A little bit of saltiness in there for sure. Okay, no. Nah, I'm just gonna say it. Damn. This is way better. Really? Better than the meatball? Way better the meat? than this? It's. I don't. I think I'm just giving tens out here. Oh no do. way! I no like, way! I feel like people are gonna think I'm lying. Yeah, definitely not a bot review because they told us to like, turn the cameras off. So. <laughs> no, if, no funny business. Out they here. told you us to turn it. the cameras off. You guys are listening to audio right now, probably. <laughs> I don't even know if you're watching. I don't know if yeah. you're watching right now, or if Josefo's being secret agent. I don't know. But all I know is this is some of the best food I've had. If you made it to this point in the video, let us know what's your favorite genre of food. What could you eat every day for the rest of your life? I'm gonna try the sourdough though. This looks this looks kind of perfect. That looks crazy. What's amazing too is like this shape of pasta was so perfectly selected, right? Because right. they just all are filled. They're filled with a little meat, bro. It's like almost a ravioli. I wasn't the most fond of the bread. I'm not gonna lie. Not enough like garlic. Though. Oh my god, I forgot we got that. That's amazing. Bro. What an amazing surprise. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. Oh, you want me to salt bay that little oh, nonsense over there? Give me. Let me do the little. Oh, you're so fancy. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. That pizza looks so amazing. <laughs> okay, let's try the pizza out, huh? It does look pretty crazy. Oh. Is it as good as the pastas? No. No. Not even close, but this is still pretty solid. Looks good. The chorizo is actually fire by itself, though. It's like a seven for me. Yeah. I'm being seven point one, seven point two. The onions are nice. The chorizo is really carrying. This place is very delicious. I think I'm honestly like an eight point two. Yeah, yeah. Even though they're assholes about the camera, I'm gonna go a little bit higher. Ooh. Maybe like an eight point six and eight point seven. Something really good like that. In fact, it's so good that I think I would come here right after some imperial extraction. Right after I get real baked off that Imperial, shipped right to your doorstep. 
all that good bud, all those pre-rolls, all those eights, however much you need, straight right to your door. I hope we have one to smoke. We have to. I would love to smoke one like right now, honestly. We have to. Man, shout out to your instructions. You can use our code Part 20 for 20% off your order and just have a really good time at it, man.